Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And on today's episode, we're gonna do something super cool. We're gonna learn how to break glass. What? Are you kidding me? You do realize all you need is some carpet and about a foot of height, and you can break any glass you want. In fact, it's so easy to break glass that I actually started a whole business fixing people's broken glass on their devices. So, Justin, I'm not following you here. Why do we need to learn to break glass? Well, the truth is, that's a really good question. So, what, what makes breaking glass such an important skill? Like, I'm pretty sure I can just chuck it on the ground, right? We're all good and we can break it even more. Well, that really leads into the big problem of what I'm trying to solve on today's episode. You see, there's a lot of tools out there to break glass. Maybe you're doing laser back glass removal and you wanna you wanna work around the little glass in here, right? So you go get yourself your little your little punch all or you get your super crazy overpowered vibrating dental tools or whatever they are. I, I don't know. You, you do all this crazy stuff and you end up damaging the frame, you end up leaving dings and dents inside the actual like internal frame. There's a material science issue here. Right? And what I'm noticing is that the people who are making tools are the ones making the mistake. I don't know who they're listening to, but they're definitely not listening to the right people because these right here are garbage. Absolute garbage. And I don't if you don't know what this is, I'm gonna show you. It's it's kinda it's a punch all, right? You you kinda this is a big steel block, and I'm sure you guys see people where they're they're taking the, the screwdrivers and they're banging it on there. Material science, pay attention going forward, you'll know the truth. So we got this big steel block here and we're gonna press down. And you see there's some there's some good force going down in my hand. And what you end up with is, I don't know if you can see it on here, but it actually will leave an actual ding in the steel. Now that's insane, that's a lot of force that you're putting on a phone just to break the glass, especially when there's better ways to do it. So without further ado, let me show y'all how to do this. Okay, so here we are. We've got our desk full of stuff over here, and I think that some of you in the audience already know what's going on here because you might recognize a lot of the stuff on the desk. Obviously, you know what phones are. Obviously, you know what tempered glass is. Maybe some of you just learned about the automatic hole punch thing here that you really shouldn't be using, and I'm pretty sure that anybody who has fixed a phone ever knows exactly what these are because who hasn't watched Jerry Rig everything, you feel me? So we've got all this in front of us, but what does it mean? If you already know the answer, do me a favor, drop down in the comment section below, let me know, and leave a thumbs up, and that'll let me know that you already know, you feel me? But let's go ahead, get started here. Um, we have a couple phones, we have a couple pieces of glass, and we have a couple tools here. The reason we have all this is really more or less just so I can prove a visual point very quickly because once you see this you're gonna be like oh man where do I get one of those right so let's take let's take the automatic punch the hole punch whatever it is let's let's talk about that again for a second let's just analyze the materials and see if it makes sense this right here this tip whatever it is right I would just assume it's just a stainless steel tip or something like that the way that it works is you basically let's move some of this stuff out of the way let me go ahead and show you here We're actually going to do this two different times, right? So we've got our glass on the steel block here. And if you know anything, we're actually just going to stick one down real quick. If you know anything about these hole punches, like I just showed you, they kind of require some force. So what we're going to do is we're going to press down. Actually, let's hit tape off so it sticks. I don't want this to slide. We just need a little bit of sticky there, okay? All right. So we're gonna go right in the middle here and we're actually gonna perform the function of this tool. And watch my hands, okay? The reason I want you to watch my hands is because I want you to see the kind of shaking back and forth as my hands are pressing down. Okay, it worked, of course, huzzah! Justin, you said this was garbage. What are you talking about? Okay. What you can't see, here, actually, I think you can see it right there okay do you guys see that 
I'll make sure I take a picture and put it in the video, but this is super, super important, okay? What this is, is damage to the internal frame of the phone that you use this on. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this is way more durable than the phone you're working on. So we've got this big old punch here in the middle. Y'all can see it. It's like a like someone shot a bullet at the dang thing, right? And we've got a big old ding here in the middle. Okay, okay. Well, what's the problem? It worked, right? Well, like I said, it damaged it. Do you really want to damage it? I don't want to damage it. With the frame anyway. So how can we do this better? To do it better, we just need to understand what the materials are and what the best material to use is. You saw how much force I had to use there. What if I told you that there was a way to do this with the slightest touch? And not only with the slightest touch, but with great accuracy. It's true. Now, how do we do that? Let's just jump back over to the Mose picks here and let's talk about that for a second. If, like I said, you have watched Jerry rig everything at any point in your entire career, you know that he's got these Mose picks and the way that these work is each one of these tips is a little bit harder than the last one, right? So you go from two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with nine being the strongest and two being the weakest. Two would be made out of quartz and nine, and listen here, this is the most important thing for you to hear the whole video, is tungsten carbide, okay? Tungsten carbide is strong, it's dense, and boy, let me tell you something about how it breaks glass. If you have ever seen online an advertisement for something called a emergency window glass break, what do you think the tip is made out of? Tungsten carbide. And the replaceable breacher tips of ultra-hard tungsten carbide easily penetrate many glass obstacles, including automotive safety glass or tempered plate glass. Let's go ahead and see it in action. I got showered in glass. Or... Okay, that was way easier. I give up. Okay, so we're going to put this exactly where it was before. I'm going to go ahead and peel off the adhesive on the back just so it doesn't move. And I'm going to show you this in two ways. Uh, I'm going to show you this on here, and then I'm going to show you in the microscope so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So we've got our number nine here, okay? And we're going to, you know what? Actually, I had an idea here. Let's make our own tool. That's why I have this, by the way. So all I'm doing is I'm taking the tungsten and I'm moving it over to a single handle versus a double handle. The reason for that, and we'll use our regular number nine thing there so we know it's still a number nine. We'll take this and watch my hand again, okay? I have one finger on this. I'm just going to balance it right here. Did you see that? Do you hear it? It just basically falls right through the glass. Now, you can see it cracks the glass and I barely did it. So what does that mean if I press down harder? Well, I mean, I barely did that at all and it seemed to just do whatever, I, whoop, whoop. Well, how about that? How about that? Let's go ahead and try it on some phones. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know what I mean? So let's try it on this LG V40, right? I'm just turning it just a little bit, right? And you can see I've already got a little crack down there, all right? If you want to get more, you just rock it back and forth. That's it. You just rock it back and forth. Very little bit of pressure. Let's move over to, let's move over to the Samsung, right? I know some of you guys have those really big clamp-like tools that, <laughs> that you gotta, it's ridiculous, right? We're gonna go up to the top up here and we're just gonna, huh, how about that? How about that? And the best part about this tool is it's not gonna get dull. When you use a lot of these stainless steel tools, the one thing that I hear is, oh, you gotta be careful the tips are gonna end up getting smushed and bent and they're gonna they're gonna do all kinds of crazy stuff and you're gonna to have to buy a new one. This is a consumable tool. Um, tungsten carbide is definitely not a consumable tool. Um, this is gonna to probably last you a super hot minute. So 
I think the only example we have left here would be the iPhone, right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, this is not original glass. This was just something I had sitting around. This is just for an example, but you can see that there ain't nothing stopping this bad boy, right? So normally, you, you know, you got problems with people getting stuff around the edges here and not coming out. You can actually just come in and, oh, wow, that was, that was easy. That was too, too much, you know what I mean? And I barely did it. So you're gonna lose way less force, right? You see how it's just breaking there? You barely have to touch this thing. Look at that. How about that? How about that? <laughs> now, obviously, like I said, this is this is not original glass, but I'm telling you right now, you be careful with this on original glass. It's gonna break it real quick. All right, I, I love these things. I love tungsten carbide. So. Anyway, let's jump over to the microscope for a second and let me show you it over there just so we have an idea of what it looks like under the microscope. Okay, so real quick here before we end the video because we, we've kind of gone through the information but it is kind of cool to see this in the microscope a little bit just so you can see how powerful it really is, right? So let's go in here and let's just look at the tip, okay? This is the, the tungsten carbide tip and you can actually see it's got a little angle on it there just so there's a little room to kind of rock it back and forth and stuff and there's a piece of tempered glass here right now, and what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna break it right here. Oh, you see that? Right through it, instantly. I'm talking about instantly. Tap. 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 See that little one, you can control it right through it's it's that simple guys uh, material science this is much stronger than steel in this regard so you know if you're looking for one I'll probably stock these in the next week or so on shop.artof.repair through my vendors um, but I mean you could easily pick this up locally too. pretty much any hardware shop in the entire world I think it's just called a tungsten carbide scratch all it scratches everything you feel me Whew, we did it. You know, I'll tell you, I am a notorious re-recorder. I like to do things multiple times because I like to put out really good quality stuff. You know what I mean? So I know you guys watched about 15 minutes today, and I will go ahead and tell you that this definitely took a lot longer to make. So I do appreciate every single time that somebody actually watches, anytime someone actually likes, anytime someone subscribes or shares or does the notifications, that kind of stuff means a lot to me. You know what I mean? Because it just helps me grow bigger and bigger so that I can help teach more and more people for absolutely free, which is something that just is near and dear to my heart. I love free knowledge, okay? Uh, so with all that, we are at the very end of the video, but I do want to tell you something super cool. Just so everybody who's watching still actually knows, I'm actually going to put all the coolest content right near the end of the video. So make sure if you are watching, you're watching all the way to the end because before this video was actually done, I went ahead and contacted a couple of my friends who own a couple tool factories in China, and I let them know what the deal was, and they were all too happy to oblige and create some proper glass break tools for us and integrate them into the tools that we already have. So once you start seeing that come out, oh boy, you're going to know where it came from. The Art of Repair. So with that, make sure if you are looking for the best tools, the Art of Repair is the tip of the spear. Head on over to shop.artof.repair and you can find people who sell the tools that I suggest and sell to vendors worldwide. How about that? And you better believe when these tools come out, we're going to have them first. I'll see you next time.